Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our July 2020 tarot reading. This will be for the sign of cancer. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers the highest good of all. At the beginning of the month, I'm going to take a card from the top. Middle of, whoops, middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Well, we have the King of Cups, okay? And the King of Cups could be an actual person, okay, in the beginning of the month that you're dealing with, or this may be the energy that you're going to be taking on yourself in the beginning of the month. Whatever it is, this King here is the kind of person who has mastered his emotions. He is... Uh, someone that basically does not allow himself, uh, how could I say, to be in conflict. He's the kind of person who is very harmonious. He's a very loving, caring person. He, he's the kind of person that is concerned for others. He's, he's not like self-absorbed where it's all about him. Uh, the King of Cups is a very loyal person. Okay, and this may be someone entering your life in the beginning of the month. And I don't consider these gender specific. This could be a man or a woman that could be entering your life. Or it may be the energy that you're going to be taking on or need to take on in the beginning of the month. Okay, and this person could be, you know, someone that's found in the medical profession or, you know, maybe teaching social work. Um, this person is a person that's very kind and concerned for others, very, um, how could I say, very empathetic. Uh, they have empathy for people, okay? Sometimes, however, though, they might not be as organized and driven and disciplined, okay, as they should be. Um, but this here is a very good sign in the very beginning of the month because, this is going to be someone who's a very loyal soul, okay? And it's a very loyal person that, you know, you could rely on. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Page of Swords. And I'll tell you, of all the pages, I don't like him. <laughs> I'm going to be blunt about it. This little, I won't say it. <laughs> this is possibly someone who could be how could I say this could be this this is an unruly child in my mind and when I say child it doesn't necessarily have to be someone under the age of 12 this could be an adult you know who who's acting like a child okay the page of swords is someone who's gossiping somebody who's talking behind your back Someone who, you know, you might think is a friend, but truly isn't. Um, this could be a stalker. It could be somebody that's watching your social media. It could be somebody who's, you know, watching you in real life. Um, or this could be some type of a delayed message coming in because the pages also bring messages. Okay, so this could be a delayed message coming in in the middle of the month. For some of you, it could be a disappointing message too. But whatever the disappointment is, you will move on from it. And I would rather know, you know, what I need to have a heads up on and instead of feeling that everything is fine if it's not. So I'm getting a feeling that you're going to have a problem possibly with someone in the middle of the month. Or you're going to find out that someone is gossiping, you know, or talking behind your back. Um, or it could be, you know, for some of you that have children, it could be a problem with the child. OK, or it could be someone who's acting childish. Like I said, this to me could be, you know, a, an adult who's very immature. It could be someone, you know, causing you minor problems in the middle of the month with petty gossip. So you just want to be uh, forewarned, warned and forearmed about this. And then at the end of the month, we have the Six of Pentacles. And that is a card of giving and receiving. And this could mean two things. This could be you are in a position where you could give to someone else because you're feeling financially stable at the end of the month. This could be a sign that, you know, money is coming into you. 
Okay. Or it could mean that you're able to assist someone else with, you know, money that you have. Um, this is a card of sharing where you're going to be able to share because you're feeling stable at the end of the month. Okay. And this is a sign of success and some type of material gain at the end of the month. So whatever's going on here and this person here could be gossiping and causing problems because they know you're getting the success and this material gain and they're not happy about it. And, you know, we would wish that people would be happy for us, you know, when we get a job promotion and we get more money and now we're able to help other people, our family, our friends, but people don't see it that way. They're wishing that it was them. Uh, what is that saying? Pay attention who doesn't clap, you know, at your successes. And that's the truth because, you know, some people we may feel we are close to, but they're not exactly happy. And this person here in the middle of the month isn't going to be happy for this material gain or the success at the end of the month. Very interesting month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.